Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of the Intercompany Transaction Add-on, a QuickBooks Online Custom Solution developed by DLN Associates. This application is designed to make the process of posting intercompany journal entries effortless and more agile. The application posts entries to multiple QuickBooks Online accounts simultaneously. It can also post reoccurring transactions with predefined templates. With our application, it'll save you time and increases the accuracy of transactions posted to your QuickBooks Online accounts. First, we need to connect the QuickBooks Online accounts to the application before starting the process. In the application, go to the Company Setup tab, click on the Add QuickBooks Online account, then click Connect to QuickBooks, select the correct account you wish to add, click Next, and click Connect. Your QuickBooks Online account is not connected to the program. Repeat this process for all the companies that you want to connect to the program. Now let's start posting transactions in the program. Our first post will be dealing with income distribution from a primary company to its subsidiary companies. For example, the primary company is distributing $10,000 of commission received from a vendor to the subsidiary companies in the ratio of 40 to 60. So commission will be recorded as expense in the books of the primary company and income in the books of the subsidiary company. We must first set up the journal entry accounts in the JE Account Setup tab. We need to make the selection for the primary and subsidiary company from the connected QuickBooks account. The selection for master and subsidiary companies can be interchanged anytime based on the type of transaction. The first part of the setup is a journal entry in the books of the primary company and the second part is for the journal entry in the books of the subsidiaries. So in the first box, let us select the name of the subsidiary account in the books of the primary company. The next two boxes are for setting up debit and credit. So let's debit the commission account and credit the due to from subcompany account. Now, let us set up the JE for the subsidiary books. Select the primary company's account name in the books of the subsidiary. Now in debit, we have selected the due to from ABC Inc. and credit the commission account. If the journal entry is a recurring transaction, we can save the template and call it the next time we make a similar entry. In the journal entry tab, let us enter 10,000 in the post amount in the primary box. Select date and enter a memo. Enter the percentage in the percentage box it will populate the appropriate commission amount in both subsidiaries. Once it is done, click Sync, and we'll post the journal entries in all three companies. Let's do another post where each subsidiary company pays management fees to the primary company each month. For example, each subsidiary company pays $500 to the primary company as a management fee. So here, the management fees will be treated as income in the books of the primary and expense in the books of the subsidiary company. Go to JE Setup tab and set up JE. Assuming this is a reoccurring transaction that happens every month, let's name the template Management Fees and enter a description for the template. Let's set up the debit and credit accounts in the primary and subsidiary account. We have used a common due to from sub account name for the intercompany transactions. You can have individual accounts for each subsidiary, like due to from sub one. Same way, instead of due to from master, we can have due to from ABC Inc. In the journal entry tab, enter the amount and click on same amount. If all subsidiary pay the same management fee to the primary, the amount will populate in the amount post box for each subsidiary. Enter the JE date, the JE number, and a memo. Once done, click on sync. Now this journal entry is posted in all three companies in QuickBooks Online. Let's go check our QuickBooks Online account and see the journal entries we just created. Here we can see ABC Inc, Sub 1's entry journal, Now, let's go to the primary's QuickBooks Online account, ABC Inc., and go to the journal entry. And here is the entry we just created. 
This concludes our demo for the Intercompany Transaction application. For more information and pricing, please visit us on our website, dlaexperts.com. Have a great day.